Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing Accenture interview experience that happened today. That is on 8th April 2022, and this interview experience is of a CSC branch candidate. Guys, in the morning also, I have uploaded a video in which I have discussed today's interview experience of an ECE candidate. You can find all such Accenture interview experiences under this playlist. I will give you the link of this playlist in the i button as well as in the description box. Make sure to visit it. And guys. From previous uh, from previous few days, you guys are requesting me that I should take the Accenture mock interviews as well as I should review your resumes. So, guys, for you, uh, you I have started these services. You can simply visit this link. I will give the link of uh, this in the description box. You can visit it and book your slot according to your preference. If you want that, I will uh, I will take your uh, mock interview for Accenture. You can simply click on this service and book your slot. Limited slots are available. You can see that tomorrow, that is on 9th. Only these slots are available, rest have been filled and if you want that I should uh, review your resume. So guys, reviewing your resume is uh, is free and you can simply again book your slot. You can see here, you will click on 9th and you can see only 3 slots are available for tomorrow that is on 9th April. So guys, make sure that you book your slot as soon as possible because these slots will also get filled. So guys, now let's start this video and before starting the video, please hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel. Okay, so guys, the date of the interview was 8th April 2022. The branch of my friend was CSC. The duration of the entire interview was 20 minutes. So this interview happened today only. So first question, as you all know, will be introduce yourself. And guys, please, this question, do not take this question lightly. This question will be very important because the things that you will tell in this particular question, there are high chances that rest of the interviews will go on these things only. You can include your projects, your internships, your extracurricular activities, your uh, skills, all these things you can include, but try to include only those skills in which you are comfortable in and you want that interviewer should ask questions from them. So your answer should be between one in between one to one and a half minute and it should be precise towards it. So I hope this particular question is clear to you. So now we'll move into the next question. Next question is explain about your project. So guys, especially in Accenture, ev in every interview, the project questions are asked that what is your project? What have you done? Guys, make sure that I suggest you that at least one project you have added in your resume so that you can show it to the interviewer. So again, whenever he is asking you to explain about your project, you will have, you will have to explain that what your project you have done, what technology stack you have used, how you have implemented the solution and what, what is the difference between your solution and the other solution that has already been present in the market. And guys, if you do not know that how you have to explain the project in the interview and you do not know that what are the commonly asked interview questions in uh, uh, commonly asked interview questions on project then i have made a separate video on this particular topic only i will give you that video link in the i button on the description box make sure that you visit that link and uh, see that how you will have to explain your project in the interview so i hope this question is clear to you okay next question was what was your role in project so guys many of you build projects based on uh, the single handedly or some of you build project in a team so if you have built a project in a team that is consisted of two to four members, you will have to tell that which component of this project you have built and how you have built that particular component. And if you have done the entire project yourself, then you can simply say that this entire project was done by me. Each and every component that is present in that project has been done by me. So again, again, in previous video also I have told you that it, is, it does not matter that a component is present in your project and you have not done it. If the interviewer asks that this, how does this component work in your project and if you have not done it, then also you will have to explain to the interviewer that how this is working, what is the technology that have been used behind it, what was your idea. You simply cannot say that this, uh, this particular thing was not implemented, implemented by me but my friend. So this will be a wrong impression. So you should know the entire thing about the project. So I hope this question is also clear to you. Okay. Next question was which python pack packages you have used in your code so guys again if you have built a project you must have written some code in it so what python packages like numpy pandas uh, nltk all these libraries you have used in your project or there are some so, some separate libraries that you have used so all these things you will have to tell to the interviewer in detail because this will show the question related to your project will show that whether you have actually worked on a project or not so I will highly recommend that the technology that you are using in your project, you must have a basic understanding of that technology. You must have the basic understanding of the code that you have written. So I hope this thing is clear to you and you will be able to give the answer that which Python packages you have used or which next question is 
which machine learning strategies you have used so again in machine learning very uh, sky, sky, sk learn is a very common library sk learn is there again numpy pandas nltk different different uh, visualizing libraries are there so all those libraries if you have used then you will have to tell to the interviewer that these libraries you have used and why you have used those libraries so i hope i hope this question is clear to you and you will be able to answer this particular question now guys again i will like to remind you that you can simply book your accenture mock interviews as well as your resume reviews slot with us we will be discussing each and everything in detail in resume reviews resume reviews are are free and in mock interviews we will be we will be asking you questions that were actually asked in previous hirings of accenture so that it will give you confidence in appearing for the real interviews if you want to book slot you can simply visit this link i will give in the description box slots are very limited so please book it as soon as possible okay now moving to the next question in the interview next question was what are tuples in python so again i am telling you that the things that you have used in project the technology that you have used in your project you must have the basic understanding of that technology both in code base also in theoretical part also so what is tuple in python a tuple is a collection in python so you can see that if you have to declare a tuple we will declare it like this t is the name of the tuple and rest are the values in the tuple so we have used parenthesis and there are comma separated values that we have stored in the tuple now tuples are immutable in nature so what does that means that means that once a tuple is created it cannot be modified again so let's suppose we cannot do like this t of i is equal to 5 we cannot do like this this will be a wrong so tuples are immutable that once they have been created they cannot be modified again so i hope this particular question is also clear to you it's a basic question of python okay now moving to next question what is 7 divided by 0 how do you solve it in the code in the coding part okay so 7 divided by 0 we all know it is not possible in real life also as well as in coding part also division by 0 is not possible and it will give you an exception so how we will solve it we will solve it using exceptional handling in python so we will uh, we will write a try catch block in which will in try block we will write to we will try to handle uh, this exception and in the catch block uh, in the uh, catch block we will try to send the exception that guess in the try block exception is coming we are catching the exception and we are showing it to the user so 7 divided by 0 is not possible directly but we will have to uh, but we will have to implement the exceptional handling in python for solving it so i hope this particular question is clear to you <coughs> okay next is name some errors in python so guys in different languages the errors are same like null pointer error is there in python indentation error is given there and memory flow error is there whenever we use a whenever we use a particular stack very much so memory flow error comes so all these type of errors are present in python so you can name any of these errors to the interviewer so i hope this question is also clear to you next question is where do you see yourself after 5 years so again it is a very commonly asked hr question that where do you see yourself after 5 years so guys there are many ways of answering this question you can also google this type of question and you can see the sample answers which are given to you but again if anyone asks you to where do you see yourself after 5 years you can simply say that at this particular point it is very early to uh, see where i will go after 5 years i simply want to uh, get a job in your company and takes uh, and take few years of experience and then after exploring few options in the company then i would i will be making more better decisions that where i would like to go uh, where i i will see myself after 5 years so there can be many sample answers when i have given you many more are present on google so you can simply uh, write this question on the internet and get your answer so i hope this particular question is clear to you next and the last question of this interview was if you have given a project in a technology which is unknown to you then what will you do so for example at present you know python but in company they give you the project on java so what you will do how will you approach that technology will you say no to the project so in this particular thing you will have to be careful while giving the answer you will simply say that no uh, that yes i will take that technology because again i am still at the early stage of my career so i i want to learn each and everything that is coming in my way so if you will give me java then also i will be more than happy to learn java and implement the solutions based on the uh, technology that you need me to do so again it you will have to give every answer in the interview in a very positive way you cannot say no to an answer because if you will say that no i will only take python it will restrict you in certain projects and definitely you will be rejected in this interview if you stick to your answer 
so i hope now all these questions are clear to you and i am hoping that these videos will be helping you in preparing for your interviews so guys please make sure that you have if you have not subscribed this channel till now please subscribe it please share it among your friends and if you want us to take your mock interview if you are feeling nervous you can simply book your slot here and we will be reaching out to you so guys thank you for watching this video